The film begins in a city where we see a man named Vincent entering a store and easily stealing a bottle of wine. Surprisingly, the store owner has no clue about it. We learn that Vincent's son, Ian, is standing outside the store. Ian possesses some magical powers, one of which is the ability to create false visions, illusions that seem real but aren't happening in reality, and Ian can make everyone believe in that illusion. The audience must believe the illusion because it appears real. Ian casts his spell on the store owner as well, which is why his father easily steals the wine bottle. Thanks to Ian's powers, they've committed many thefts before but haven't been caught yet. After stealing the wine, Vincent leaves the store where some girls are passing by. One of the girls says something in Ian's ear, distracting him and breaking his spell. The store owner realizes that some wine bottles are missing and figures out that the man had stolen them. She comes out with a hammer, but before she can attack Vincent, Ian casts his spell again. To stop the woman, he creates the illusion that Ian is holding a gun and is about to shoot her. The woman, believing it's real, falls down. Taking advantage of this, the father and son escape, but a policeman arrives and checks on the woman, who is fine and hasn't been shot. However, the policeman now starts chasing them. Vincent gets angry at Ian, questioning why he needed to use his powers in public. Ian suggests, instead of petty thefts, they should rob a bank and become rich. But Vincent refuses, saying that they can't fool the bank people because as soon as they see Ian's powers, they'll catch him and who knows what tests they'll perform on him. However, Ian doesn't understand what his father is talking about. With the police officer on their tail, they have to flee. So Ian uses his powers again. He makes the officer see an illusion that his car is covered in snow, causing the car to crash and stop right next to a gas station. We clearly see on the CCTV that the car stopped straight because the crash was an illusion, a false idea. This entire scene is witnessed by a woman named Adrienne, who praises her companions for finding Ian. It becomes clear that Adrienne has been tracking Ian and now informs someone on the phone that they found him. Meanwhile, the father and son reach their place, an abandoned ship. Vincent shows Ian a picture of his mother, telling him that she has passed away and that he raised Ian alone. But Ian is unhappy with this life because he is frustrated with the restrictions Vincent has imposed on him. His father doesn't let him go outside, saying it's not safe for him because he's not an ordinary person. One day, Ian goes to a bar and tells his friend about the accident. The man sitting next to him overhears everything. This man isn't ordinary either. He's a mutant with powers that allow him to extract information from the officer's mind. As soon as he does this, the officer faints. We learn that these mutants in the story are called perceptors. Meanwhile, Adrienne and her companions arrive at Vincent and Ian's place, seeking Ian, who they've been searching for a long time. They work for a secret agency, and Vincent used to work for that agency as well, which is why Adrienne and Vincent know each other. But something happened that changed everything. They beat Adrienne and ask her about Ian, but she keeps silent. It is revealed that Adrienne is a scientist and that the agency she works for, called Awareness, conducts experiments on people like Ian because this agency was the one that gave them their powers. They created these superhumans, these perceptors, by injecting them with a special formula, turning them into mutants with superpowers who fought and won wars for their country. However, later the government began to see them as a threat and started eliminating them one by one. Adrienne mentions that now only one perceptor remains in the world and they will soon capture him. She wasn't talking about Ian, though he also has powers, because Ian was born from a Perceptor, which was supposed to be impossible as Perceptors cannot reproduce. Thus, Ian was a miracle. Vincent had been hiding for years. They find out that Ian has gone to a gaming zone where the Perceptor has also arrived to find Ian. Adrian was referring to this last Perceptor. He was none other than the Perceptor from the bar who had read the police officer's mind. He learns that Adrian's people are coming to capture Ian, so he tries to distract them, causing chaos. Gunshots are fired, and people panic and flee. Amidst this, Ian sees the Perceptor and realizes that he too is a mutant. But before the Perceptor can reach Ian, Adrian's people place a helmet on the Perceptor's head. Despite the helmet, the Perceptor fights back, but eventually, 
it's too late as Adrienne has already taken Ian with her. Adrienne puts on the helmet herself and takes a blood sample from Ian. She then brings him to the agency and explains that many people are using their powers against the agency. The rebels have formed an army led by a leader. Ian asks, what does all this have to do with me? Adrian tells him that if they hadn't brought him there, the Perceptor would have killed him because he's the last Perceptor left in awareness, and he's stronger than Ian. He wants Ian to join him. If he refuses, the Perceptor will kill him. Adrian now wants Ian to work with them. She wants to activate or deactivate Ian's powers by using the Perceptor's formula in his blood. And yes, his father is with them too. If Ian wants to meet his father, he must show Adrian his powers. Adrian asks Ian to create an illusion of a person, but Ian refuses, saying it's impossible. He's tried many times, but has never been able to create a human. Adrian then asks him to create an illusion of a beach and the sea. Ian tries, but fails. Adrian tells him it's happening because he doesn't know how to use his powers. She advises him to tap into his emotions and use them because that's how he can control his abilities. She reminds Ian of his childhood and shows him a picture of his mother. Enraged, Ian successfully creates an illusion of the sea and the beach. He even creates a fly, which Adrian had asked him to do. She then asks him to bring the fly into the real world, where only she can see it because it's part of his power. He can create reality. Ian agrees but demands to see his father first. Adrian takes him to Vincent, who is unconscious. She tells Ian that his father has always lied to him. Ian doesn't believe her. She then suggests that Ian can see into Vincent's mind because one of his powers is mind reading, the same power the Perceptor used to read the police officer's mind. Ian's mother, who was also a Perceptor, was there too. But when she disappeared, Adrian stole Ian, meaning Vincent is not his real father. When Ian wakes up, Vincent falls unconscious. Adrian tells him that this man deceived him, keeping him in the dark all his life. What if his mother is still alive? Adrian meets with her boss and tells him that although Ian is powerful, if he understands his third power, they can kill the rebel leader. We'll learn about this third power later. A fighter girl who works for Awareness, possibly Adrian's ally, approaches Ian and tells him they're going to test him, so he better escape. She offers to help him. Ian likes her idea and agrees. The Perceptor also changes his appearance and infiltrates the agency. The fighter girl begins helping Ian escape, though the soldiers try to stop them. However, she's an excellent fighter and kills them all. She escapes with Ian and his father. When the Perceptor finds out that Ian has escaped, he starts pursuing them, but Ian uses his powers to trick everyone and get away. The three of them reach a hotel. Ian befriends the fighter girl, but now he's worried about Vincent. He wants to know who his real father is and what happened to his mother. The fighter girl tells him he can see this in his father's mind. So Ian starts reading his father's mind again and discovers the lab from where Vincent had stolen Ian. Ian is angry at his father for hiding the truth from him all his life. Now that he knows where the lab is, he thinks his mother might be there. So he decides to go to the lab, but he needs money for that. Despite Vincent's warnings, he uses a fake check to withdraw some money from the bank. Although Vincent tries to explain that he lied all his life to protect Ian, Ian doesn't trust him and goes to the lab with the fighter girl, but Adrian tracks them down and figures out where they're headed. The Perceptor also knows this, so he kills Adrian's people who came there. Ian and the fighter girl enter the lab and start searching. They find all the files hidden behind a secret wall, which contain all the lab's data. Among them is a file on Ian's mother. When Vincent returns to his ship, Adrian arrives there as well. She asks for his help. Because Ian needs you at this time and you are his father, Vincent agrees. The preceptor appears before Ian and since he was more powerful than Ian, he captures him by showing false thoughts. He doesn't kill him but reveals how the agency used him. The agency created people like you and me in a lab and then formed its own army known as the Awareness. The Preceptor then tells Ian about the leader of a rebel group, explaining that the Preceptor was very powerful. He saved many lives and formed his own team. This is why the agency is hunting him down to kill him. He says, I need that formula so I can create more people like myself to take revenge on the enemies because the Preceptor cannot give birth to children. 
Ian asks, then how was I born? The preceptor replies, that's why you are special. It is truly a miracle. You are the first person born from a preceptor. Just then, Adrian's men arrive. So the preceptor sends Ian and the fighter girl away and starts fighting Adrian's men. He creates false thoughts for a while, but eventually gets captured. A helmet is placed on his head, rendering him unable to use his powers. They try to extract the formula from his body, but they are disappointed to find that the formula was fused with his DNA, as the truth was that they had lost the formula. The preceptor leaves. Adrian is now searching for Ian. Ian, along with the fighter girl, goes to the place where his mother is, and today, for the first time, he meets his mother. She is not in good condition. She is in a coma due to shock and is severely injured. Seeing his mother's condition, Ian becomes enraged. He thinks she might be dead, but then the preceptor arrives. He tells Ian that his mother is still alive, so Ian enters his mother's mind with the help of his powers, where he sees his childhood. He learns that the formula Adrian is after was actually created by Ian's mother, and she implanted the memory of it in Ian's mind so no one could find it. This makes Ian sad and very angry, and he wants to take out his anger on Adrian and his companions who have arrived. Here, Ian's third power is also revealed. He could control the minds of many people simultaneously. In this way, he killed many people, but no one could harm him. Meanwhile, Vincent arrives to stop him. He shoots himself, which brings Ian back to his senses, and for the last time, he checks his father's mind. He discovers that Ian's mother had actually told Vincent to take their son far away to a safe place, meaning Vincent did not deliberately steal their child. Seeing this, Ian feels sad. He apologizes to his father, and with that, his father dies. The preceptor uses the fighter girl to obtain the formula. He points a gun at her and threatens to kill her. When Ian realizes this, he also agrees that there was never a fighter girl from the start. In fact, the preceptor created a fake character and implanted it in my mind. So without listening to him, Ian shoots him, ultimately killing the preceptor. Only the fighter girl survives because she was a self-made character and was operating in the same loop. Then we see a scene a little later where Ian and Adrian are in a cemetery. Ian tells him, I have lost all the people who were my own and who cared for me. Adrian says, we care about you because we need that formula anyway. And for that, we might need you, because if we can get that formula, millions of lives can be saved. Ian replies, I'll think about it and let you know, and they leave. Adrian's boss asks, why didn't you kill Ian? He is of no use to us now because he doesn't have the formula. Adrian says, if I feel he is of no use to us, I will kill him myself. Ian hears their conversation and decides not to side with Adrian. He knows that Adrian is unaware that the formula is in Ian's mind, implanted by his mother. If Adrian finds out, experiments on Ian will begin again and another war will break out. 